Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing the candlestick. This is a beautiful and simple move that is kind of a staple of the aerial hoop repertoire. It's also a great move if you're looking for something that doesn't need a lot of flexibility or that's a great transition into lots of other moves. But before we get started, I'll say please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. It makes a big, big difference with the YouTube algorithm and helping to support me bringing you new tutorials every week. And there's lots and lots of other aerial tutorials over there for all levels and also sequences of choreography. So please do take a minute to subscribe, like my other videos, and check out my channel. Okay, advertisement over and let's move on to pro tips. My first pro tip is to keep your hips high in the transition into your candlestick. If your hips are close to the bottom of the hoop, it's going to be much easier to get in a good candlestick position. My second pro tip is to squeeze your thighs together around the bottom of the hoop. It's kind of similar to walking man where you're really using the squeezing strength of your legs to hold yourself in the hoop and it's going to make it much, much easier to have a beautiful position that you can hold. And my third pro tip is to have the bottom bar of the hoop close to your um, crotch. <laughs> Basically, you just wanna put your hips and pelvis as close to the bottom bar of the hoop as you possibly can. The farther the weight of your pelvis is away from that bottom bar, the harder and more uncomfortable this is gonna to be to hold. And those were your pro tips, so now let's break it down. I am starting my candlestick from a Delilah, but you can start it from any position that allows you to go into a straddle mount. For me, I'm just putting my hands on the bottom bar, lifting my legs out off of the hoop and coming into my straddle mount. If you are looking for tips on your mounts, by the way, I do have a whole video about mounts and I will link it in the description of this video and at the top of your screen right now. Next, I lift up my hips as high as possible. I bend my knees and I thread both legs through the center of the hoop. Each leg should cross through the center of the hoop and then also cross the other leg. You can put whatever leg feels more comfortable on the bottom. I prefer my right leg on the bottom and I'm going to use my foot to hook around the outside of the hoop. The bar of the hoop should come between your thighs and also between your two ankles. You can think of it as making an X with your legs if that helps you imagine the position or if you're a dancer, you might think of fifth position. I am flexing my feet and I'm hooking both feet on the outside of the side of the hoop. From there, I squeeze my legs extra hard and I can let go with my hands. I will warn you now, this position is a little bit uncomfortable, especially as you're learning it, because you're putting a lot of weight on the tops of your feet against the bar of the hoop. But as you try it more and more, you're going to find the specific sweet spot for your body where it feels the best. So it will get better. From there, I replace my hands on the bottom of the hoop. I lift my legs off back into my straddle position. And finally, I hook my knees onto the bottom of the hoop, coming into a double knee hang hawks position. And I'm ready to transition to any other move that I want to do down here. It's a great way to add a nice transition into any choreography you have below the bar. Here's the whole thing again in real time. So this is a nice, cute position with, do not feel like you have to be bendy for this one. It's great if you're working on your stretching and you haven't quite gotten your flexibility there yet. And just one more time, I'll remind you to please subscribe. It really does help me out when you guys do that. Check out my other videos. And with that, I will see you guys next time.